Do you have a passion for the great outdoors? Want to get away from the daily grind and experience unmatched natural beauty? Clear Water Streams. Blue Ribbon Fly Fishing. Wildlife in its natural habitat and experience all this with your friends and family? Well then, you need to pack up and head to Western Montana to the Sealy Lake region where you'll experience one of the finest guest ranch experiences to be found anywhere. Welcome to Rich's Montana Guest Ranch. You may arrive as a guest, but in this warm and welcoming <laughs> ranch, your family. The ranch has a deep and rich family heritage and history in the guest ranching and hospitality business, going back over half a century. Their core mission for over 60 years has not wavered, which for the rich family is to share their ruled country lifestyle and passion of Montana's great outdoors with others from all over the world. Back in 1958, CB and Helen Rich moved to the Blackfoot Clearwater Valley from the original Rich family homestead near Billings, Montana, along with their five children, Marianna, Betty, Peggy, Sharon, and Jack. Extending their ranching and rural heritage, they built an outfitting and guest ranch business next to the Bob Marshall Wilderness, sharing their passion for the scenic Montana mountains and outdoor lifestyle with guests from North America and abroad. In the early 80s, their son Jack and his wife Belinda and three children took over the reins of the ranch. And with Jack's sister Peggy and her husband Ralph, they maintained this multi-generational dream and family tradition of living and working in the mountains of western Montana and sharing their lifestyle with their guests. It's really hard to talk about uh, the beginnings of our ranch without talking about my parents and the dude ranch that they had when I was a young boy. As fate would have it, their ranch didn't last long. But in the time that it did, I was awakened to the passion that they were so, uh, it was so easy for them to share with others. And they sold the ranch and we ran a guide business for years and we had fun with that. But I always had this dream in the back of my mind that someday I would have a ranch. And when, when Belinda and I got together, I shared that dream with her. And we never had the money to do it. It wasn't about the money. It was a, it was a tough sell to, to sell her at first and then to sell the banker on whether we should do it. But it has been the most rewarding thing to have because we were able to build it from the ground up. And so this is not someone else's dream that we came in and purchased. This is our dream. This is our sweat and uh, uh, the dirt under the fingernails. We, we built it from scratch. And we built it with the idea in mind of opening our home and our hearts to others and let them share in our Western lifestyle. And so it was, uh, I think that, that Belinda and I would both agree that it has been this incredible journey. We've been able to raise our children in it, our grandchildren. It's a multi-generational experience. And uh, uh, it, words are hard, it, it's hard to capture the words that um, are the rewards that make up the, the life of a, um, a guest ranch like ours that, that we run it ourselves. It's been a beautiful journey and a great ride and it's, it is a lifestyle choice and we get to share that with 
with everybody, you know, and um, share our the history, this great this great community, um, the wilderness, the all of it is kind of encapsulated in that. But what's a typical week at the ranch like? Well, partner, if you've come for the horseback riding, your exceptional week of spectacular riding starts with the horses coming in from their night pasture. A spectacle everyone enjoys watching. The Wranglers will introduce you to your horse, which has been carefully selected for you by your experience in riding ability. They know a good match between you and your horse means you'll enjoy the miles of trails that much more. The Wranglers will provide you with a safety and riding orientation session before you head out on the trails. And with Montana as your backdrop, the trail riding is nothing short of spectacular. Shannon shares some insights into their comprehensive writing program. So before our guests 
receive and arrive, we send out a reservation form and they send us back their riding experience. And then we have horses for all riding abilities, so we um, match the horse to the rider so that people that are inexperienced or have never ridden are on good, faithful, quiet horses. And we have horses for more experienced riders that um, are looking for that. We have trails for all riding abilities and all adventure types. We see wildlife and we have high mountain vistas and some lower valley trails and then we also offer day rides up into the high mountains and um, up some of the rivers and into the wilderness areas around our ranch. So our family um, were horse people before we got into the guest ranching business. My grandfather um, broke and trained thousands of horses after World War II and we are generations of horse people including her and um, our stock is really important to us and uh, we take a lot of pride in the horses and um, how they their health and their well-being and what kind of horses we run and uh, we like people to, to see that when they come here to see um, the, the pride we take in our stock. Many of the trail rides begin at the ranch and follow scenic trails everyone will enjoy. Other trail rides trailer out to selected vantage points and begin from a trailhead, such as the spectacular Blackfoot River Trail Ride. Rich's Montana Guest Ranch also hosts Wilderness Pack Trips, where all your food and gear are packed into the backcountry by mules. Just you, your horse, the pack mules, and experienced seasoned guides head to the backcountry for another wilderness adventure. Your accommodations are welcoming, cozy, and comfortable, and you'll feel right at home as soon as you arrive.
The main lodge is the focal point. Many activities. comes to meals, you certainly won't go hungry. Whether it's a meal in the lodge or cookouts on the back lawn, it'll remind you of your grandma's cooking and favorite recipes. During the week, you'll be serenaded by cowboy entertainers who bring back some old songs and introduce you to some new ones, all by a roaring campfire with s'mores for desserts. You'll get to listen to nostalgic stories of the West and cowboy poetry around the campfire. You might even catch a moon rise in the eastern skies while the sun is setting in the western sky. Now I ask you, does it get any better than this? It might be 240,000 miles from the beautiful moon to the ranch, but you're just a short trip to Montana from anywhere in North America and only an hour from the Missoula International Airport. The, uh, the guest ranch lifestyle is a unique touchstone to rural America and our, uh, our roots that, that take you back to those pioneer days in a softer way. The pioneers had a hard life and it was tough, but there was something that built metal in who they were and it recharged the parts you can't touch. And in today's world, we're insulated from a lot of that, where a lot of things are provided for us by cities and, and governments. 
When you come into the country like this, you feel that touch to the land. You feel, you get a little dirt out of your fingernails. Um, you get a little sun on your face. And you, you make that reconnection that can recharge you when you get back home. Yeah, I think people are really, they need that now. They need to be able to disconnect a little bit and just really sink into the vacation and, and enjoy it. And here is a place on the map where you can, where you can still do that. Um, and just be a part of nature and be a cowboy or a cowgirl. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things to, to be a dude ranch owner is a, is a privilege to be able to share um, our passion for the rural country lifestyle and our passion for America's great outdoors with others. And it's, it's hard to quantify it, but we get to rediscover the outdoors and the country way of life through the eyes of every guest that comes here. So it keeps us vi revitalized too. So it isn't one of those um, tasks like uh, someone who worked at Disney World would feel where it's a show up job. You get to, you get to, uh, it's as good for you as it is for the guest. It's a win-win. And that's how come most guest ranchers are worst fears that they're gonna uh, have to retire. They don't want to, it's a, it's a way of life. If you came for the fishing, you're in for the best. Whether it's fishing in the ponds on the ranch or clear water rushing streams, you'll soon be hooking into the big ones. Abundant cutthroat, rainbow trout, brown trout, and more can be found in these crystal clear waters. Also a big hit with the guests is the breakfast ride, where guests saddle up early and ride their horses to a breakfast camp and enjoy the morning meal surrounded by nature and a roaring campfire. In the evenings, you can watch the horses head out to their night pastures before the next day's rides. And what better way to end the day than to enjoy an evening wagon ride around the ranch with your Percheron draft horses, Sam and Charlotte, leading the way. Hey gang, what's the best guest ranch in North America? If you're interested in doing some exploring, Seeley Lake is an area of eclectic shops and points of interest. Close to the ranch is Mountain Creek Taxidermy, owned by Rob Henrikin, where wildlife becomes an art form with Rob's award-winning taxidermy. Or you might get to stop and visit Swan Woods, where craftsmen Jerry and Martha Swanson create some of the most unique and natural handmade wood bowls you'll find anywhere. And so we go from just a whole flat board. Yeah, that is nice. That's really, really incredible. Isn't that yeah. interesting? Yeah. Trees grow big in the Seely and Swan Valleys, but perhaps the granddaddy of them all is a 1,000-year-old western larch tree known locally as Gus 
that resides in the Gerard Grove near the western shore of Sealy Lake and appears to be the largest larch tree in the world. Gus was already 200 years old when the Magna Carta was signed in 1215. Gus now towers 163 feet high, has a crown diameter of 34 feet and a circumference of 22 and 3 quarter feet. Whoa, partner, that's a big tree. Your next stop might be the Lolo National Forest Ranger Station and Museum, where you'll learn much about the local plant and wildlife to be found in the local area. And no trip would be complete without visiting an old mining ghost town. Welcome to Garnet Ghost Town, which dates back more than a century to 1895. More than 30 buildings have been preserved. It wasn't until an abundance of gold was discovered at the Nancy Hanks mine in 1898 that Garnet became a boomtown. The richest mine produced $690,000 in the peak year of 1896. Back then, Garnett had seven saloons, three hotels, and a daily stagecoach run. Between the years of 1897 and 1917, nearly a million dollars in precious metals had been produced, 95% of which was gold. The remaining was copper and silver. It then became host to nearly 1,000 people, but by 1950, the town was deserted. The structures being preserved include the J.R. Wells Hotel, Doll Saloon, Kelly's Bar, and the F.A. Davies Store. To walk through these old buildings creates a feeling of a moment in Montana history, frozen in time. If you're ready to get away from your daily lifestyle and reconnect with family and friends in one of the most beautiful and pristine places on earth, if you're ready for hats, hospitality, and horses with spectacular trail riding, if you're ready for blue ribbon fishing in clear water streams and a warm and welcoming environment where you're part of the ranch family, well, my friends, Make your way to Sealy Lake, Montana for an adventure that will create memories for a lifetime. We'll see you at the corral.